I think maybe there was a deliberate thing in, within the story, but it seems to me massive parallels with 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 the Soviet Union and the current thing, which I don't want to say in in a, in that way. <laughs> the 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 well, my opinions are better than your opinions. I don't care if you're an expert. I work in a shoe shop, and I'm going to call the shots now. <laughs> That's the, that the, and that the sort of anti-intellectual element of the Soviet Union of what it had become about um, nobody special you know that um, my opinion is as good as your facts and there are no facts we make our own facts and all that that's terrifying and well at the very least the, the whole the environmental thing that it's it's been so in the media and it's been so pushed at the moment and it's going to make no difference because people are uh, they've, they've, you know, they've got everyone so zealous and, and opinionated yeah, so about so, it. For some reason, the survival of the planet or the the support mechanisms, the life support mechanisms of the planet, the continuance of that, has somehow become a left-right issue. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. Because all those people will be dead. And that's, and that's the reason they don't care, genuinely. I think that's a genuine thing, that they don't care. They think we'll all be dead anyway. So they'll never get their comeuppance. They'll never be told they're wrong. You know, Donald Trump is 73 or however old he is. He's going to be dead, isn't he? He doesn't, he's not going to be able to sit there with it all unfolded. Not really. But it is changing, isn't it? I mean, it is sort of like previous generations who are saying, no, this is, well, not, not exclusively. I'm just suddenly thinking, what about the alt-right? That's the problem. Which seems yeah. to be the old right is, is kind Soviet of the, Union. It's the same thing. It's just sort of like the youth. It's like a youthful thing, really, isn't it? The old yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. That's the point of it, isn't it? That's the, the you know. And it obviously, it started off as kids trolling, all joking. They weren't serious. <laughs> People actually believing it, and you know. But yeah, so it shows it's not a left right thing. It shows it's not really a political thing. It's it's um, anti intellectualism, is what it is. Well, it's also a tendency for politics to be um, manipulated by lobbyists yes and the people with the biggest um, pockets tend to be oil companies and energy companies and people like that who really don't want us to move away from fossil fuels yeah so even I said that I mean I, I, so the issue is in America basically that's 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 what's holding everything back if America said okay we're going to push green policies, yeah? We want renewable energy mm. and we'll apply sanctions against any country that doesn't um, Go play along. use re uh, renewable energy, yeah. then it would change. It there would. would be a sea change. It would be like, and it would happen very, very quickly. Yeah, but a lot of people, well, not a lot of people, a certain number of people would, wouldn't make a lot mm. of money. And I was going to say, it seems to be a right-wing thing in America where the Republicans are beholden to um that's what it's been attached to yeah but it isn't right wing particularly it doesn't it doesn't have a political it's a because well, it's a yeah, trick isn't we had we had that uh, a story yesterday uh is it justin trudeau the uh, california mm. he said he he said we need a green new deal and then the next day announced the opening of a new pipeline yeah it's sort of like yeah well, well he's a very typical he's a blairite I don't mean a blur up, but he's, he's a, a Tony Lair. And he's a suit. He's the previous generation of um, political trickery. Isn't he, you know? And that, well, we've all had enough of these empty empty suits with, with their fakeness. We want people who are actual cartoon characters instead. Because <laughs> that's more realistic. He says it like it is. Yeah. I mean, I suppose it's, it's, it's impossible for us not to talk about politics this week. What's happened this week? Oh, so yeah, we're doing it here. Yeah, yeah well, we said it's a US thing, but I mean, well, Brazil, and uh, yeah. we're doing it now. Uh, France is teetering on it. It's going to do it, isn't it? You know, that's that's where it's going to go. Vote for, for the great leader. It's not a right-wing thing. It's the right doing it, but it's not a right-wing thing or a left-wing thing. Well, actually, you look at the, the trolls and tribulations in the, in the Labour Party, it all seems to be focused around this idea of leadership. Yeah. The guy in charge of Labour isn't what they consider. He is Labour because Labour yeah. is the leader because yeah. he's he's the, the face on the telly. Yeah, uh, the, doesn't the, matter what he does uh, or, or what they're actually doing or what their policies are. 
He's got nice teeth. He's got nice I teeth. I like his smiles. beard. Smiles. He's an acceptable face to business. He hasn't even shaved his beard off. <laughs> Not vote for him. I mean, the, the ultimate hypocrisy, I suppose, is... Uh, do you remember a few months ago there was all that kerfuffle when he moused either stupid woman or stupid people? Yes. When the Tories started banging at him in the yeah. PMQs. Ah, yeah. oh, he says stupid woman. And then we've had this... <laughs> Boris has, has... We've got Boris... <laughs> had some sort of... I'm in a massive row with his wife. Yeah, all crashing going on. Uh, and and I'm, I'm not fucking leaving. We've got another guy manhandling a, a Greenpeace activist out of dinner, round the By throat. By the neck? And round people the, defending it? Yeah, and people are defending it. The people who were saying Jeremy Corbyn's out of order for mouthing possibly stupid woman during PMP. I know, saying, oh, well, you've got to get in the real world. This woman might have had a knife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from Greenpeace, in a dress. <laughs> I was just walking past him and he was no. like, grabbed her and, and he's apologised unreservedly and has been suspended. Yeah. But no, it was, it was good. Yeah. We should beat him up more. That's just mind-blowing. Milk, milkshakes as well. Apparently milkshakes was violence a few weeks yeah. ago. Throwing a milkshake at someone was violence. Grabbing someone round the throat <laughs> is, 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 is not. That's just zealotry. And again, yeah. it's it's not left or right. It's and it, you know, Someone did a, a decision diagram. Bad thing that's happened. Are they on your side? Yes or no? <laughs> yes, they're on your side. It's fine. No? No, they're not. And I'm, I'm sure people are doing it um, you know, um, momentum people, or I don't know, they're the same. Blair, Blairites as well. I'm sure they're doing it, in that they'll defend things because they're on their side. Well, that's uh, what fucked. yeah. So Rory Stewart, Stewart was a. If you don't know who Rory Stewart is, he was. He was seen as the the, bad the un, language, under, bad, a bit of a bad way of putting it, but he was the great white hope of. Of centrists, yes, yeah. the great moderator, yeah, yeah. <laughs> who's going to come in? Normal person, yeah. and you got like the FB BP crowd on Twitter saying, "Oh, here he, this is this guy's amazing. He's not going to take any truck for on on Brexit. He's a Remainer. Mm. Uh, this is going to be awesome." And then a vote came before Parliament to take New Deal off uh, and No Deal off 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 the agenda, and he voted against it. Yeah, <laughs> and we still got the tears when he was knocked out. Yes. The leadership is like... Yeah. Yeah. Very strange. Interesting times. Well, to, well, to be fair, anything to do with Brexit is fucked. It's just fucked. You know, and you, <laughs> there's just nothing. It's too late. It's all fucked. Well, I remember... I was thinking about this yesterday. When people were saying taking no deal off the table was... Uh, stupid thing to do because that's our negotiating chip with the with the EU. They don't want no deal. Yeah. Our economy is the fifth biggest economy in the world, and it's where we have a, a surplus. They have a surplus in their balance of trade with us, so they'd actually be losing money. German car manufacturers will demand yes that we get the deal that we want, so they can keep selling us cars. That's it. somehow over the last few months, it's gone from no deal is a bargaining chip to. No deal is a desirable outcome. Yeah. How did they, how did they do that? How did that happen? How did that little that, migration yeah. happen, sort of thing? Yeah. But and particularly but before the referendum. Oh, no, no that's ever, not going to happen. We're never going to do that. We're not talking about no deal. Of course we're going to have a deal. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, Brexit has hardened minds on both sides, and there is no happy middle ground. No. Um, um, and, you know, the, the recent election proved we're exactly the same position we were in 2016. It's 50-50. Can't... Well, the one thing we agree on is we don't want to compromise. Yeah. Because <laughs> the compromise parties, the ones that are actually involved in doing it, are the ones that have been screwed over. And the, the no, this way, people are the ones doing well. Doomed. I suppose we had to do it, didn't we? Talk about Brexit at some point. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's going to age terribly, that. Yes. That little bit. I suppose so. Maybe. I mean, the, the, yeah, it's fairly generic. Though. Well, Boris will be Prime Minister by the time you watch this. It's fine. It's all fine. You can hide in a cupboard for at least four years. It'll be fine. Even Andrew Neil said something today about Boris. He says, when I became chairman of The Spectator, Boris was the editor, and that didn't last very long. <laughs> he kept getting the sack from places, didn't he? Because yeah. he, he's just a bullshitter. <laughs> he just makes stuff up. And well, I can't believe he actually wants the job. Well, in 2016... Yeah, 2016, I, I'm, I'm sure that he worked with 
um, Michael Gove to make sure he didn't have to do it. It, it just seemed like he gave up ever so... I mean, what did, Michael Gove said something about him not having the character or whatever to yeah. do it. Oh, and I can't he do just, it. He just gave up and yeah. it was almost like, well, actually, does he really want it? He, did, he didn't want Brexit. He didn't want Brexit. I don't believe that for a second. I mean, I remember that, that press conference the, the, the next morning. The, the cat in headlights look on. <laughs> oh, 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 it's actually happened. Oh, shit. So I don't, I don't believe that they really want it. Well, we'll see. Mm. So let's imagine Brexit happens. Yeah, and everything turns pretty bad. Economy takes a big nosedive. We've got some ultra-white right-wingers who are saying, oh, Brexit has worked. It's just all these foreigners... Yeah, it's, uh, it's been sabotaged no, deliberately been sabotaged by, 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 the, by the Ramonas. By these foreigners and Ramonas. <laughs> they keep calling people names. And you look at it and you Cooks. look at this isn't going to end well. Where, where shall I, 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 I'm going to leave the country. Where would you move to? Norway, maybe. I'd have to learn, learn another language. Or um, uh, Finland, Sweden, somewhere like that. Denmark's supposed to be pretty good. Yeah. But we won't have the right to a free movement then. Oh no, yeah, we'd have to apply for something, would we? A citizenship or something, would we? A uh, work visa or something like that, I would have thought. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, Australia is really popular, isn't it? I can, I can understand because of the um, the language, obviously. Um, it's a really popular migration place for, for, for UK people. And, and it is one of, it has, it's really high on the happiness index. It's just like those those countries, I think it's, it's pretty high. Um, but I don't, I wouldn't want to go to Australia, it sounds awful. Well, I, uh, I heard that, I think they work longer hours, don't they? Oh, they work okay. quite long hours, and I think the cost of living is quite expensive. Right. But the happiness, in, that's interesting. So why but is the happiness index hot? Because the, yeah. they've got the sun, and they can this drink. This is nice and sunny, yeah. <laughs> I've drank a few tinnies. The spider's in the toilet, though. <laughs> Oh, there's a th- the, one of these reality TV things that my wife was watching, and, she, and uh, it says these, these these people who really really want to go. It's their dream to go and live in Australia, right? They've never been there. <laughs> they think it's just going to be like neighbours, <laughs> and th- the whole program is about them trying to move there, and they've never been there. That's uh, it's just insane. Yeah, I quite like to move to New- well, New Zealand seems quite appealing to me. It's more about the views, isn't it? They've just done a uh, budget based on well-being rather than GDP and things like that. Yeah. So the decisions they've made has had to have a positive impact in various Life. measures of well-being sort yeah. of thing. How you live. And that sounds like a really good idea to me. Plus you can go play Lord of the Rings. Yeah. 